your background, your education, and your experiences, and then we'll have an opportunity to uh, talk about, uh, during the second segment, the rise and fall of Adolf Hitler. Let's do it from that <clears throat> perspective. As you introduced me, my name is Alana McLaughlin. I have been featured on the show since about 2010, which would be about five years. I have a middle school education. I am 13 years old and I am your granddaughter. <laughs> I am very involved in the church and my school and programs such, such as the um, summer program for verbally and mathematically precocious youth at Western Kentucky University Center for Gifted Studies, as well as their summer camp for academically talented students. I'm also involved in the Junior National Young Leaders Conference, which I am proud to be an alumna of. <clears throat> And I am very close knit in a lot of movements like the Black Lives Matter movement and the LGBT movement. And so I like to keep myself aware of today's movements and I try to inv get involved in what I can because I do like to make a change. And so in a real sense, you've had uh, quite a bit of experience uh, here as well as er elsewhere uh, dealing with a number of topics. but. Uh, the uh, topic today, I, uh, I think, is somewhat intimidating uh, in the sense that uh, we often wonder what could uh, a, a, an 11-year-old uh, young lady, 13-year-old young lady, you started with us at okay. 11, 13-year-old young lady bring to us dealing with the rise and fall of Adolf Hitler. Let's uh, start it from that perspective and during this first uh, six minutes, then we'll pick up again after the uh, second, uh, uh, first commercial break. All right, well, the reason I chose this topic was because when I attended the summer program for verbally and mathematically precocious youth, I took a class entitled Nazi Germany and the Holocaust. In that class, we really dissected Nazi Germany and we dissected um, the world wars and we talked about the Holocaust. But a big part of the Holocaust was, of course, Adolf Hitler. And so we really talked about his mindset and what would make someone so full of hatred and it really sparked my curiosity and I wanted to share the information that I received from camp with you. And so basically Adolf Hitler, born Adolf Schickelgruber, was born to a small family in which he didn't have very much. And so he, for his childhood, he lived the average life of anybody in that day. I mean, he wasn't very poor yet wasn't very rich and he was normal but things started to slowly go downhill as both his parents passed away and he was denied entry into art school that's when adolf hitler really hit the cliff and just spiraled into this crazy mindset that we know him for today and so in a real sense uh, the, his background had a very very important part in terms of why you decided to select uh, the uh, issue